Policy Council is a grassroots, all-volunteer group of people that represent stakeholders from across the local food system, anywhere from the small farmer through the distributor to the restaurateur to, to people who eat, which is our biggest stakeholder group. <laughs> our goal is to produce a, a self-reliant, sustainable food system which is accessible to everyone in the community, regardless of their income. It was, um, I was thinking the other day that it wasn't that long ago when getting to eat meat every day was a sign of wealth, and now it's almost reversed. If someone mm -hmm. who eats a lot of meat, chances are they're going to McDonald's or they're not eating a healthy diet, and it's often a sign of, of poverty anymore. Mm -hmm. It's the fresh local vegetables that become the expensive, the sign of wealth, you get the foodies, and, Mm -hmm. The Food Policy Council is not about organic, it's not about any particular type of eating, it's not about veganism or, or vegetarianism, it's just about getting fresh local food to everybody. We have three initiatives going on right now, and the first one is actually a, a success, not an initiative anymore, which is the Fresh Food Initiative, and it's brought together uh, the Huntsville Housing Authority, the Food Bank, the Madison County Farmers Market and the Green Street Farmers Market to get uh, food vouchers to public housing recipients. And then also provided the missing link, which is the transportation to the farmers market so they can go and they can choose their own healthy produce. The second initiative is we're asking people to host a local foods dinner. And that can be um, anything from like a casual backyard barbecue up to an elegant sit down dinner. You do whatever style you want, whatever menu you want. It just features local ingredients. And you can invite your friends and family, hopefully have some conversation about why you chose to have the local foods dinner. And then we're asking the host to ask their guests to contribute to the food bank in honor of the, the food vouchers, the fresh food vouchers. And the third initiative is this ongoing, broader initiative, which is why buy local. And to educate people on why they should choose local produce. And I'm gonna guess that probably everybody here already is in favor of local produce or you can buy the farmers markets. So I don't need to tell you. <laughs> I can say that if, if you're looking for ideas on how, the Alabama Sustainable Agriculture Network has put together a Huntsville area local food guide that has a lot of farmers in it, from vegetable farmers to honey producers to meat producers, eggs, more dairy, like goat cheese every year. <laughs> and if there are no other questions, eat, drink, and be merry. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Where are the farmer market? I know there's one downtown on Thursday nights or something. Yes, that's the Green Street Green Farmers Street. Market. Green yeah. Street. There's the Madison County Farmers Market that's open every day. Okay. There's the Madison City Farmers Market, which is Saturdays from 8 to 12. Um, and then there's also one on the Arsenal on Wednesdays. Great Street's in What's the one that's open every day? Where's that? Cook. On Cook, Cook Avenue? Yeah. Go to Krispy Kreme. Go to Krispy Kreme.